Welcome back to Base Engineers. This is our silver mine. After the last episode of finding the silver, I made kind of a peasant mine and I used a scaffolding to mine by hand until I had kind of a big enough area to put this uh, one piston drill in. That gave us quite a large load of silver, which I think will be good for now. If I need more, it'll be easy to come over here and put more pistons or more drills on. But for now, our silver mining is pretty much done. So what I'd like to do is quickly put some uh, lights down this tunnel, and then we'll get to building a new vehicle. The, the lights that we're working on, however, first are these big spotlights on hinges. And I've got two of them up right now just to make sure that they'll do kind of what I want them to do. And the idea is, is at the, the mine side of the tunnel, which is right here, I'll have a button that will control the hinges, the group of hinges, and they'll actually rotate our hinges, this one here and one over there, and this would be the going back towards the, the mine shaft, the vertical mine shaft um, layout, and then there'll be another button over there that they would press, and that would just flip the lights back that will point them towards this direction. So instead of having to string like overhead lights around and run a huge um, line of blocks down the center of the tunnel, I can just use these giant spotlights and just shoot light down the tunnel. So as always, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and feel free to leave comments. Hope you enjoy watching. It's not quite that simple because it does some weird stuff with the light. You'll see it, uh, let's see if I can point it out. So we're still seeing the spotlight behind me, uh, it's light, but right there. That change in light was the spotlight, um, the beam not being able to go as far. And you'll see that even more when we take this corner and drive down here. I've put a block on the side where this beam stops, but it'll be really evident here in a second. These are my headlights on, and these are my headlights off. And there. That is the end of the beam of that first light down the main tunnel. And so if we reverse, now it's back. So right here is where I've put the, the block. And so we'll put our next um, spotlight right here. So hopefully these beams will just kind of nicely overlap and it'll be easy to, to get more or less continuous light. Now, you might be wondering why I'm even bothering doing this um, when I have perfectly good headlights, and I don't really have a good answer for that question, um, other than it's just, you know, in the spirit of survival excess, it's pretty, it's pretty excessive, and uh, I think it looks really cool. I haven't seen anybody do lights like this before, so, uh, Try to claim that first, I guess. So I'll get this guy built real quick, and then we will. Oops. Get this guy built real quick, and then I'll just build the rest of them, and we'll head up to the upper base to build our new vehicle. So now, if I'm going the other direction. The lights will switch and the tunnel is lit towards the drill. And then when I'm coming back, the lights will come back towards me and they'll light the way back this way. Now that is pretty cool, I think. Now all we've got to do is get up to the main level, and uh, we can start building our new vehicle. I've built this elevator. It's, um, it's like 46 pistons, I think. So it goes from the, the top floor level, actually a little bit below the floor level, to the silver level which is about 450 or so meters uh, below the floor level. So it's a pretty long elevator, 
But the crazy thing is, is that the mine shaft extends another, it's like another 800 meters after um, the silver level. So deeper than the silver level to get to the uranium and gold levels. So I'm not sure yet what kind of elevator I'll use for that. But um, it might be a piston elevator where the pistons are on top and so the car will be like a cage. Um, or it might be something else. I haven't quite decided yet, but that's kind of where we're, where I'm headed with with the mine shaft. I think is is elevators, because they're they're pretty sweet. So, all right. So, get new hydrogen bottles, and let's go over here. And get rid of the scrap metal. And let's come over here and get rid of all of our other parts, miscellaneous parts. And save the game. So what we need is, we need to have some kind of a... Um, uh, exploration vehicle that I can use to find... A large patch of ice and whether that's a snow cap on a mountain or a snow field or an ice lake I'm not really uh, picky with what kind of of ice um, deposit I guess for lack of a better word ice source I'm not really uh, picky about what kind of ice source it is but I'd like to start our hydrogen production to to run hydrogen thrusters so we can get up into space and to do that, I'd like to build, um, I mean, I guess it's sort of technically a drill rig. Sorry. Space engineers. Best space engineers. Um, so, I mean, we're, we're going to need, we're going to need a lot of hydrogen. And so we're going to need to build, you know, essentially a, an outpost to, to mine it and to process it. I had originally thought of using uh, this guy over here as the start of my hydrogen processing, but then I realized I'd have to keep trucking ice to here, which I could do and I might still do. I haven't 100% decided if I'm going to build an outpost for the hydrogen because I'm either going to truck hydrogen from the outpost to wherever the, the ship is built. I don't know if it's going to be like a rocket yet or more of a, a ship, um, like a spacecraft of some kind, or if it'll actually be like a cylindrical vertical rocket. I don't know what it'll be yet. Um, so this guy's going to stay for now, but either way, we need to find a better source of ice than just the kind of snow up on the mountain ridge kind of outside the base to the right which is the, the north, because I have a compass now. So what I'm thinking is let's do a flying. I've got a bunch of rovers. Let's do something that flies, because it'll be it'll be easier to look around from the from the air. So somewhere I've got a landing gear. Here we go. I don't have any components though. Let's get some stuff. Let's get like 500 armor plate to start with. Steel plate. I don't know why I always call that armor plate. Steel plate makes armor blocks, but it's steel plate. And we'll do a small grid. Small grid um, flying thing. So we're going to do... Let's go like up... Yay high, maybe first. Maybe here. Kind of thinking like weird looking helicopter, kind of. Let's see what it, do I have any other cockpits? That's fine. 
So let's do maybe the fighter cockpit would be cool. I don't. I never use the fighter cockpit. Let's do the fighter cockpit. And I don't have a thruster. I think we're done with windows. So I guess I'm going to put this uh, on top of here. Or maybe I'm not, because it won't let me. Oh, I need construction components, that's why. Alright, so let's try this again. Alright, so there is a cockpit. And I think we're gonna want battery there. Then Do I have any thrusters? I'm not finding thrusters. Get the large and the small atmospheric thrusters. Put one in there. Want that like that? Just want this thing to be like fast and nimble. Actually, maybe I want to do. We actually want two batteries. So we'll do two batteries. We'll go one of those there, one of those there. That should be enough for the vertical lift. Then I guess we can do we really do want to go kind of like a weird quasi helicopter sort of sort of thing. We could do something like this. Here we'll have a connector. So it'll be able to be charged. I think I'm going to put that there. Do that guy like that. Back to this block here. We'll do 
actually let's do um let's do those ones vertically as well or actually let's do those um do these down we'll do them down so maybe that will allow it to pitch more easily I don't know if it'll need that, but we'll just do it and see what happens. And we'll do that one there, that one there, that guy there. That guy there. that guy there then we will need left and our right and finally We will want to have something like this. for landing gear. I don't know which way the front is. I think it's that way. Might need to move this forward. All right, let's start building this. And just finish up the connector. I think I want to make this but digital camo blue. It's too light. Let's uh, take this one and make it a bit darker. Well, that's better. Ooh, we don't have any lights. We should probably address that. All right, so let's go fly up here. Let's see if we can charge this thing up. All right, and we'll just let this charge. See you when it's done. Well, after leaving it alone for a while, this thing should be charged by now. So let's pop up here. And we want to remember to turn our batteries back on. And disconnect. 
And uh, what else around me? Well, I haven't test flown this thing yet. Kind of doing that real quick. Let's uh, get some altitude and save. And all right, handles all right. All right, so we're gonna go looking for an ice source. So we obviously have these snow caps. And what's over here? I think I'd like to find an ice lake. Which I'm not really seeing over here. Lift. This thing seems like it's flying weird. So this is just getting more mountainous. Let's go. Let's go this way. So I'm thinking we're gonna find hopefully a nice lake. And then I'll build some sort of wheeled uh, transport vehicle to bring over a survival kit and uh, a few cargo containers worth of building materials. And we'll build a uh, an ice processing plant. It'll be uh, above ground this time for sure. I'm not. Uh, not building an underground ice mine, that's just not needed. I don't think ice spawns that far, even with the, uh, uh, the Deep Ores mod. Though there is a lot of snow, I just don't know how deep it is. I don't know how deep the snow packed. I think I need more reverse thrust. Because I... not slowing down that fast. I only have three forward, but I think the tilt and the main engines... Yeah, so there's definitely a lot of snow up here. Just doesn't look very deep. All right, there are too many mountains to the other direction. Let's try this way. Hopefully we'll find something better. Oh, I think that is an ice lake. That appears to be one. Let's head down low. Alright, so it looks like I might be able to follow this valley with some kind of a wheeled thing. Then this looks pretty easily traversable. Alright. Go ahead and land. So let's come in here and GPS and let's go new from current position and ice lake. All right, now what I'd like to do is attempt to make waypoints. And I don't know how well this is gonna go, so we'll find out. I think I can drive down this. Let's go here.
this will all be easy to drive over. It's all pretty easy to drive over. Yeah, none of that's too bad. So I can go right around this mountain base. Base of the mountain. It is also the mountain base, but I meant base of the mountain. Because there is our tunnel entrance. He has set the antenna to uh, broadcast further, apparently. Go twenty five. So twenty five thousand meters is five kilometers. And so now I should be able to see that from my my ice lake. Likewise I can turn uh this one off. Alright, so I also forgot to close the doors. Born in the barn. Alright, there we go. So let's come down here. And we'll want to decide what kind of vehicle do we want to drive over there. If we want to drive over a small grid or a large grid. We could also take this little guy over, depending on how much stuff you can fit. Let's see, medium cargo container. It can fit a fair amount of stuff. Are batteries off? What's going on here? Is my battery dead? Oh no, my battery might be dead. Did I leave it parked with the lights on? All right, uh, this is unfortunate. I'll just build a, a new battery on it. Do one here. Whoops, that should not be a battery. That should be my welder. And should do three, but I'm not going to. All right, well, we're just going to go with it and see what happens. So let's back this guy up. Head out into the world. Don't want to jump this. I don't want to jump this. Okay. I should now be able to just follow these waypoints. All right, so we're gonna slow down for a second because I'm gonna make this go faster. Because why not? What's the worst that could happen to my super heavy, fully loaded rover? Oh, this. This is what could happen. Completely ridiculous terrain.
we'll just cruise on over here. That was a bit more air than I was hoping to get during this trip. mildly terrifying <clears throat> but we made it through look at the little rover go come out here into the plains. I think it'll be a little bit less perilous. Kind of feeling like we could make it go faster. And it would be fine. The Dark Valley is dark. Probably not the great time to test out our new top speed. But once we get through the Dark Valley... Oh yeah, we're cruising. A little worried about battery life now that the sun is going down. I think we'll be I think we'll be okay. Alright, on to waypoint three. Oh, that's a big crash. All right, what did we lose? We're not braking very well. I think we're missing a wheel. Hey, come back here. Where are you going? All right, well, we might be able to get there with one wheel. Or actually, now that we've parked it, we can probably... Maybe I can get it to give itself a wheel again. Wheel could not be placed. How about now? All right. There we go. Now we've got four wheels again. It is unfortunately super dark now. Oh, tree.
Every crest is terrifying now because I have no idea if it's just like a gentle roll or if it's just like an actual cliff. Alright, and we'll just go a little further and we should be at the ice lake. Once we get there, first order of business will be setting up a wind turbine tower and then the survival kit. Slow down for this crest, I have no idea what's going to happen after it. How scary driving through that tree. All it would have taken is one branch. One branch to ruin everything. Slowing down for the descent. Because so I believe this is the chute that will lead into the actual lake itself. Doing this at night in the fog. Oh god. Is is not how I envisioned this. Nor was landing upside down. But nothing broke? Oh god, there was there was no way we could have driven down this. All right, so um, this looks like it's going to be a good spot to start building from. <laughs> oh no, antenna's incomplete. The antenna must have broken. All right, well that is just really dark. I can't tell if I'm on the ground yet. Okay, this is the ground. All right, there's there's the truck. I think I see the truck up there. This is just ridiculous. All right, so I think that's the truck. I think I'm standing on f on ice. I think. I think this is ice. No, that's stone. Ice is out here. Is this ice? Alright, that's ice. Alright, so I'm on ice now. Do I have, um... No. Cool. Alright, so this is going to be temporary. Alright. Alright, so first things first. Just going to build some stuff. Need a few of these steel plates. Can't even see the ground. Yeah, I mean that's that's in line with the ice lake, I guess. One, two, three, four. Want some more. This is uh very much not ideal. Seven, eight. Eight should be good. All right, this will help empty some of my inventory space.
Yeah, the fog's gonna slow that down. It's not gonna make it very efficient. I guess I could also turn my flashlight on. Not really sure why I hadn't done that before. Maybe I do want it to be just ridiculously large. Then the assembler. Can go right here. down here. All right, so cool. Now we can die and it'll be fine. Because I can always respawn right here. All right, refinery and an assembler. So we're going to need to figure out which way we want to go with this, this platform. Wow, we just made it onto the ice. This is a good spot to stop this episode, having started the base now. Uh, it'll give me time to figure out how I want to lay it out for the next episode. So as always, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and if you want, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.